series Fair Food, an online organic grocer with a bit of a difference. To tell us more, please make welcome Chris Ennis from Series Fair Food. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to go back to when you were a kid. I want you to think of your best memories. During the Christmas holidays on my grandparents' farm in a big rolling 10-acre paddock, me, my brother, my sisters and our cousins would run in front of my grandpa's hay baler pushing all the loose hay back into line. And later, sometimes three of us little kids would drag the bales back to the farm truck for my uncles to stack up high. At the end of that day, we'd be up high in the hay barn, full of hay, with the dogs drinking lemon cordial out of the bottle, while the adults were down below drinking beer out of long necks. And my Auntie Lou would yell up at us to come down and eat her cold roast lamb and her, her, her potato salad and her coleslaw. And you know, in those days, we were never closer. We were never more together. We were never more purposeful, never more of a family. Okay, you can open your eyes. How many Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Twitter, friends, connections, followers, do you have? I want you to add them all up in your head right now, roughly, roughly. Okay, put up your hands. 100, 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 10,000? Okay, you can put your hands down now. I counted mine up this morning, 753 friends, followers, and connections. Wow, it's a lot of people. But you know, you know, I never belonged more. I never felt more part of something than when I picked up hay with those 17 people. What was your best memory? Was it when you felt part of something, belonged to somewhere, to, to you felt you were really part of something? Okay, we're going to come back to that, but right now I want to talk about canned tomatoes. I want to talk about canned tomatoes because I work at Series Fair Food. We're an online organic grocer and we buy food from local farmers and grocery makers at fair prices. And we pay our workers fair wages and we buy and sell the food that is fair to our planet. But something happened the other day. Something happened that was very upsetting. I was in the Fair Food Warehouse, as you can see, and a pallet of these canned tomatoes came in. And I picked up a can like this, and I read the label, and it said, made in Italy. So I called up to Alex, who's our buyer up on the mezzanine. I said, 
Hey Alex, can't we get Australian organic canned tomatoes? And Alex, who's Scottish, yelled down at me and said, No! I said, No! Just two hours from here, two hours from here, Alex, are some of the best tomato growers in the world. And you're telling me we have to buy these organic Italian tomatoes from Italy. That's 18,000 miles away. And Alex says, yes. But she also says, but you can also get Australian conventionally grown canned tomatoes. So I'm intrigued. I look further, I go down to my supermarket and I find out there's two brands of Australian canned tomatoes. But I also see there's about 100 brands of Italian canned tomatoes. And the thing is, those Italian brands, they're all about 50 cents cheaper. And it turns out that four out of five of us saves that 50 cents and buys those Italian tomatoes and it also turns out that because we buy those Italian tomatoes, the 400 Australian tomato farmers who were growing for the seven canneries 30 years ago have become nine farmers today. Nine Australian farming families growing tomatoes for one cannery. And I think, Jesus, are we the kind of people who would put our own farmers off the land to save 50 cents? I mean, are we? Are we? Well, apparently we are. But is this who we want to be? Is this who we want to be? Because aren't we, aren't we the people who are imagined enough to keep our trams? Aren't we the people who support live music, who go to farmers markets and charity fun runs and bike rides and produce swaps and art exhibitions and football games and soccer games and netball games and roller derby? Aren't we the kind of people who do yarn bombing and beautiful graffiti? The people who say sorry, the people who welcome refugees, the people who march against wars, the people who march against climate change, the people who help each other out in a, in a crisis and give more generously than anyone else in the world? Isn't that us? You know, if we use our imaginations, the same imaginations that kept our trams going, that, that, that big-heartedness, that love of supporting things to work this Italian canned, problem, canned tomato problem out. You know, if we put it to use, maybe, maybe we can solve it. And maybe we can solve it using our own Italian solution. Every year, my mentor, Joe Garita, a farmer who came here from Italy, who taught me how to grow tomatoes at his market garden on the Merry Creek, every year Joe and his wife, Jean, would gather his family and his friends and they would make tomato sauce. And at the end of the day, there would be a big pasta meal and everyone would take home enough tomato passata for the whole year. And it occurred to me, that's just like my family used to do in, in the hay paddock. We used to get together like that. So how about this? How about we get our friends and our kids and our family and our neighbours together? And how about Fair Food brings us tomatoes from local farmers like Nathan Free up in Lake Boga? And how about we give you video instructions and recipes and we give you guidance on the day with mobile nonnas like this lady who can come and help you source and bottle your own passata for the year? And how about we make it a special day each year, like, say, the last Saturday in April, and how about we give it a name, a great name? Maybe something like crowdsourcing? <laughs> crowdsourcing? Crowdsourcing? Okay, so a couple of months ago, I suggested crowdsourcing to the Fair Food members in a newsletter. And within 24 hours, 200 people had emailed back saying they want to be part of it. So far, we've done this without any money, without any funds, 
But if you donate today your five or ten dollar note, your brown paper bag, your briefcase full of money, <laughs> this is what we're going to be able to do. With $5,000, we'll develop a kit. The crowdsourcing kit with all the information, the how-to videos, the recipe downloads, everything you'll need to know to do your own crowdsourcing, and it'll be available to everyone. With $15,000, we'll make the info kit plus, no steak knives, not steak knives. We're gonna build a dedicated crowdsourcing website that can be used by any group any person to buy tomatoes direct from a farmer, to put on, to join, to publicise a crowdsourcing event in their community. And if we raise $25,000, we'll make the kit, we'll make the website, and we'll also reach out to like-minded organisations around Australia so that people can run crowdsourcings in every capital city across this wide brown land. Okay, because because, 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 because every bottle of sauce we make, we help a farmer stay on the land. And for every kid, every friend, every parent, every auntie, every grandparent, every neighbour who shares their kitchen, their knowledge, their labour, their love, we make those lifelong memories. Those memories that help build a community of people who care for each other. A community of people who do things together. A community of people who belong together. Thank you. Have a great day. And remember, it doesn't matter tonight who you give to, just give to somebody. Okay, good night.